Yeah. Hey guys, it's Dan the Wolfman here with ProMMAnow.com and American Kickboxing Academy. Just got done training here with Kyle King's behind me, sir. Doing well, bud. We got something coming up real soon next week. That's right, May 26, we fight in the UFC 146 against Glover the Sheriff. Yeah, and uh, what do you think of him as an opponent? You know, he's just uh, top to bottom, one of the best guys I've ever faced. Uh, extremely well rounded, black belt in Jiu Jitsu. Obviously, you know, all the ADCC experience, knockout power in both hands. He's uh, he's incredibly well rounded and, and very tough fighter. I don't know how much he's been on the ground in this fight. It's not too much. He pretty much like, keeps it on the feet like you do. He does. He definitely wants the bang. But uh, you know, the thing I noticed about him, when he gets on the ground, he uses that, that black belt for his uh, ground and pound. You know, he, he'll find good position, stick a guy in a bad spot, and pound his face in. So that's something to be wary of for sure. Boy, the light heavyweights weren't like when I was fighting. Things were a little bit different nowadays, right? I'd have to cut from 230 to 185, like Bisping or something. That would stink. But um, one thing I like about your style when you're striking is, is for the least about the past two years, you've been using a lot of the knee kick to the knee. That's pretty cool. Is that something Javier showed you? Is that something you've known for a long time? You've been doing it because that kind of exploded in the UFC. That's something uh, I learned early on back in Arizona. Uh, a guy named Vince Perez was a G JKD guy, taught me that move. I had I'd kind of gotten away from it, and then as we started working a little bit more Muay Thai and throwing push kicks, it just reminded me of that, you know, and, and knowing that you can not just throw the push kick to the gut, but you can start to attack, you know, the hip flexor on down and uh, really have it be an effective move. And obviously, you see John Jones using it all the time and different guys. So, uh, I think most people were a little worried about, you know, is it okay to attack the knee kind of thing? And really, I haven't seen a referee call it once. 44, so. I guess two states have disallowed from what I've been managed to find out. 44 out of 46 states in the U.S. are allowing it. So, we kick to the knee, side kick to the knee, you know. And it's, if you mix it up with inside kick, outside kick, high kick, you know, it says it's like that. So, I, I really like that. Um, who's kind of been your training partner for this fight? I mean, Kane's obviously been ready to. Kane, Kane too. Right? A lot of guys, big guys. We've had all the big guys uh, getting ready at the same time, so it's kind of just been one of those things where everything fell into place perfectly. And uh, yeah, Kane is on the same card as me. He'll be the co-main event fighting Bigfoot Silva uh, this weekend. You know, one week before we fight, we got Daniel Cormier and Mike Kyle getting ready. So all four of the biggest guys at our gym are, are working together, getting each other prepped, and it's been great just being able to, you know, steamroll with each other and build each other up to another level. That must, that must be nice for a change. I'm assuming you got, I mean, your cardio is probably 10% higher than ever because when you got a fight coming up, you're more focused. You're in there, and you're, you're pushing, you're not involving it a little bit, you're going at it, so that must be nice. Do you got any predictions for the fight? Well, uh, for my fight, or for, yeah, for your for fight, for my fight, you know, I, I don't want to say too much, just for the fact that uh, you don't want to give away too much. But you know, after after coming off this last fight with Bonner, um, it's no secret everybody's going to try to take me down, and hold me there, and work work from the ground. But uh, you know, Glover, you know, like I said, he's he's so well rounded, and he's got a great chin. He also has a really good cardio for for a bigger light like, heavyweight. So I see, uh, you know, I see it going all three rounds, and, and even though with the second fight, you know, it's a lot, it's going to be harder to get that fight of the night. But we could set a precedence for uh, the rest of the card and really put on one that uh, everybody would be talking about. Nice, I think so. Okay, what about the boys? What about like Mike Kyle? You know, you got a guy with great hands. Your guy with great knees. So you call him I would say this is hands, boxing versus you know knees and low kicks kind of. And I, and I think the hands usually win that battle. Well, coming from a guy who likes to keep it well-rounded standing, yeah. I would tend to side with that, but then looking at Mike Kyle's pedigree, having felt his power, his speed, and just watching him improve, you know, I, I really don't think it's going to be any different than the first time they fought when he knocked out Fiji out. He, he knocked out Bigfoot. Yeah. I mean, the guy's got power for He's got serious power. Yeah. And, and of course, uh, Kane, you know, fighting Bigfoot. Kane, I think he's going to be able to finish Bigfoot. Uh, for me, I think it's going to finish Barnett. So that's that's a big one. I think they'll do it on the feet or ground pound because those guys can both do it really well either way. I think Cormier okay. is going to is going to knock him out standing and finish him on the ground because he's I mean faster. I mean yeah. Barnett's more, well, I mean, but he kind of has to get in his rhythm. You know, if Cormier jumps on him, he's, I think he's the faster puncher. Faster. Cormier has just been so much more relaxed and so much more confident in his stand up and really has developed himself into a well-rounded fighter. 
think he's going to come out there very smooth, calm, and collected and just showcase his new talents. Well, this could be a really good week and a half for uh, EKA. I think it's going to be. All yeah. right, thank you so very much. No problem. And go to Pro MMA now for all your information and subscribe to my YouTube page at uh, Dan Wolfman. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Cool, brother.